a straight 3S battery setup. There's no need for a regulator. The 12 volt, or roughly 12 volt output from the battery can go straight into an LC filter and then out again to split between a camera and video transmitter. This uh, line here represents the yellow wire that is the video output from the camera to the video input on the video transmitter. For a combination 3S and 4S battery setup, where you want to be able to use either, uh, your output voltage from the battery will be 12 to 16 volts. So it's best to run one of these D-Sun adjustable voltage regulators, step-down regulators, which we can adjust to have a constant 9 volt output going into the LC filter, 9 volts out of the LC filter into the camera and VTX with once again the video input or output from camera input to tra video transmitter uh, represented by this line. For a setup with a 4S to 6S battery, one or the other or both, the output voltage is going to range from 16 to 25 volts. So we need to either use a D-Sun regulator like this with an adjustable step-down voltage which we can adjust down to 12 volts or one of these little mini Pololu 12 volt 600 milliamp step-down regulators uh, adjusting that voltage or stepping that voltage down to 12 volts into the LC filter and then splitting the 12 volts out of the LC filter um, between the camera and the video transmitter and this black line once again representing the yellow wire that would be in the circuit that takes the video output from the camera to the video input on the video transmitter. 